Hey, quick question. Waltine Nauta, what a name. This is the guy, Navy uh, retiree, uh, Trump's body man, assigned to him by the government, and now he's the only other person indicted in the Mar-a-Lago hidden documents, uh, top secret classified. Anyway, I hope you like the video. So if you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. You know, I'm just going to tell you a little bit from about this Walt uh, Nauta that I got from the internet, uh, Wiki, as a matter of fact, and uh, I'll even show you his uh, picture uh, in a minute on my phone because I've got some problems with my internet at home, so I don't know. But here it is. So Waltine Torre Nauta Jr. was born in 1982 or 1983, they're not quite sure. He's an American butler and a body man to former U.S. President Donald Trump, and while um, a U.S. Navy petty officer, he was Trump's valet. Uh, at the White House, and after Trump's term ended, now to continue to work for him at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club and residence. I don't know if he was paid by the government or paid by Trump, but we'll find out. I've got a glare in my eyes. Anyway, um, so, 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 and then in June 2023, Trump and this guy, Nada, were indicted by the federal grand jury, and Nada was charged with six accounts of federal crimes, and this is his picture, okay, in the military. Now, um, so he's 41 years old. He's actually from Guam. His occupation is listed here in, in Wiki as a valet and a body man. And if you don't know, a body man for celebrities is the guy who follows the celebrity around and gets them a tissue or clears the way for them or makes sure they have everything they want. It's just like a personal little whipping boy who to run around and take care of every whim of a celebrity. They're called body men. You can look that up on Google and get a clearer definition. But the charges against him relate to acting at Trump's direction and moving boxes that included illegally retained and classified documents and national offense related documents to Trump's residence. Then he lied about it to federal investigators. He was indicted for conspiracy to, cons to obstruct justice withholding a document or a record, corruptly concealing a document or a record, corruptly concealing a document in a federal investigation, scheme to conceal, making false statements. And from what I understand, he could face up to like four or five years of imprisonment for this, and of course, Trump is paying for his attorneys. But listen, that's enough. This is supposed to be a quick question. I'm giving you too much information. We're going to get right to the drawing. Okay, let's find out what's going to happen to this poor guy. I mean, the folks from Guam can be very um, uh, wonderful folks, uh, really willing to help. Uh, nice disposition has been, and I hate to characterize or generalize, but you know, for the most part, those folks that I've met from Guam have been very decent, nice loyal folks and that could be the very thing that's working against this poor fella and he's probably entranced by all the glamour supposedly around Trump. I mean if you see people flying all over the place and expense and living in a gilded cage then yeah you're going to be impressed by him and you're going to believe what he tells you. Say, I'll take care of you Walt. I'll pay for your attorney. You don't have to worry about anything and I'll throw you on the bus. Oh, did I say that? Sorry. So yeah Waltine now they're facing four or five years in prison and a ruined uh, life you know, because of his loyalty to this guy. So let's see, we'll do a couple of three card pulls. Waltine Nauta, is he really a bad guy? Let's take a look at that. One, two, three. Let's see what the cards say about this as, as to whether he's a bad guy. I mean, that's, I think uh, the universe will be able to give us an answer to that. First card, is Waltine Nauta a bad guy? Okay, so he's been given something that he doesn't want. You know, cups are compassion, emotion, heartfelt situations. This fella is Waltine. He's got three full cups under, un, in front of him under this nice, comfortable tree. It looks like he could be sitting in on the island of Guam in a tropical paradise. And he's being handed something he didn't necessarily want. So this, I think, is the situation that he's in. He wanted to serve the president, but it, this wasn't what he expected, what he's ended up with. Next card, is he a bad guy? Look at this, victory. So this tells me, no, he's been very successful in his life. Uh, most of the things he's tried to accomplish, he has accomplished. And imagine telling your family, I'm personally working for the President of the United States, and then I'm personally working for Donald Trump at his Mar-a-Lago mansion, club, residence. You won't believe the things I'm seeing that I've never seen before, the way I'm traveling, the, the people I'm rubbing elbows with. Yeah, he's, his life, as far as he was concerned, has been pretty victorious. And then the final uh, aspect, uh, the final card for Walting Nada, is he a bad guy? 
is, look at this, the king of swords. The fact is, what's going to happen is truth, justice, rules, and law, unfortunately, is going to come down on him. Let's get one more card for this. Is he a bad guy? And no, he's just strength. He's got strength, he's got strength of character, and he's been misled like so many people who get tangled up with Walt. It doesn't tell me that he's a bad guy. There's not a devil card. There's not an ugly card in this group. But it just tells me that he's been misled. Waltine Nauta. What a shame. So now, he was the perfect person for Trump to take advantage of. Ruined a naval career. So, Waltine Nauta, is he going to be convicted? I'm going to do two more, three. I know it's a quick question, but I have to ask, is he going to be convicted? And then I'm going to say, is he going to go to jail? Okay. Waltine Nauta, is he going to be convicted? Is he going to be convicted? Three cards, Waltine Nauta. One. Two, three. Walting Nada, is he going to be convicted? First card, Knight of Pentacles. He's going, he's a fighter for his value. He's going to stand up for what he believes is value. Is he going to be convicted? Okay, a great big offer of compassion. Cups of compassion, emotion. This is a great big offer of that. It looks like somehow he's going to be offered some sort of compassion could be a reduced sentence, could be a suspended sentence, could be an at-home um, incarceration, could be something like that, but with a, a, an air of, com of compassion to it, is he going to be convicted? Yeah. This is uh, the, the Six of Pentacles. The Pentacles doling out the value. And so this is the government assigning the, um, the blame, actually, the value of the blame to those whom it's appropriate. And so, yeah, he's going to get his share of of the blame. So I think he is going to get convicted. And now we're going to see, is he going to do jail time? Really quick, because it's supposed to be a quick question. I'm getting carried away with myself here. Crazy. Quick question. Walty Nauta, is he actually going to spend time in jail? Is he going to spend time in jail? Walty Nauta, is he going to spend time in jail? Three cards. One, two, and three, Walting Nauta, is he actually going to spend time in jail? Three cards. First card, strength. Strength of character. Next card, ah, left out in the cold. And the final card, temperance. Yeah, he's going to, I think he's actually going to spend some time in jail. It's going to be tempered, but, uh, but he'll have the strength of character, character to carry through. How sad.